guys a little trick. Um, at this part with the uh, with the laser beams, I'm gonna show you guys how you can disable them. It's pretty easy. You just need a grenade launcher. are the laser beams. If you uh, get hit by them, they put you in the dying state instantly. So they are pretty powerful. And I've also given Sheva a sniper rifle instead of just a bow and arrow. Okay, so the way you disable the uh, laser beams, if you didn't know already, what you want to do is grab your grenade launcher and make sure they're equipped with the electric rounds. And all you have to do is aim for that torch right there. So you see the torches that are right next to the laser. You want to try and shoot it in there. Because there's a guy in there controlling the laser. And when you shoot the electric rounds in there, the impact actually hits the guy and then also stops them from controlling the laser and that's how you disable it pretty much so it's pretty easy you can also use a sniper if you uh, need help uh, aiming which is uh, pretty uh, which is pretty helpful to know so uh, same thing here you just gotta aim for that torch there this one's a little bit trickier but yeah you just gotta aim it uh, towards the torch see if I can get this. Okay, so I gotta aim it just right. I think that one's a little bit too high. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can get this. We got some people watching already, which is pretty cool. But yeah, the main idea is to try and aim for the door. see it there's a there's a gap right there that I didn't see it blends in or is it is it no I don't think it is I think I have to hit like right there let's see if I can do it if not let me try it this way that didn't get it either Okay, there we go. Shovel's got me covered with the uh, sniper rifle. Well, that 
What's up, Dead Meat? What's my favorite chapter? Honestly, I think my favorite chapter would be. Oops, that's my phone. I usually I use it to uh, check on the, the stream. Um, I like the fights with Wesker. I like the Wesker boss fights. So any uh, any uh, chapter that involves Wesker, I like. chapter in this game, um, I probably have to say towards the end of the game, like the final chapters, the one where you're in the uh, missile room with the uh, bulkheads, I like that chapter a lot, that's one of my favorites, because the music and the atmosphere and like that sense of urgency that you have. That's definitely one of my favorite chapters. But um, yeah, I, I do like any chapter that involves uh, Wesker. Let's see if I can get him. With the, uh, let me try the electric rods. Maybe I just have to get him from a different angle. Maybe that's what it was. just feel so satisfying in this game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, no other Resident Evil game really compares to this one in terms of, like, the melee attacks. Like, this game in general is, like, everything that you do is, like, so satisfying. Like, it's so satisfying to use your gun in this game. It's so satisfying when you melee an enemy in this game. Like, this game is just so well made, you know? That's one of the reasons why I, I always come back to it. It's just because it's so well made and, like, it's fun to play, you know? I think games, they need to just be fun to play. That's why you come back and play games, because they're fun to play. With the, the future Resident Evil games, I think they need to focus more on replay value and just making games that are, like, fun to play. Because ultimately, if a game is fun to play, like, it outweighs, like, the rest of the criticisms. Like, it outweighs the bad story and stuff. Because you play a game because you're playing the game. You know what I mean? Like, you play, that's what it means to, like, play a game. Like, 
you're interacting with it and having a good time. I don't know if that's like a little too philosophical, but um, yeah, you know, games at the end of the day, they should be fun to play. And the replay value, it should rely on how fun a game is to play, you know what I mean? Oh, like that melee attack, like those melee combos are so much fun to pull off. They're so satisfying. Alright, now let's go get the uh, final um, slate, or the, the slab. Shots are so satisfying to pull off in this game because if you uh, have good aim, this game is so satisfying. The only thing I don't like is like the little itty bitty laser sight. I think if they do the Resident Evil 4 remake, I wouldn't mind like an aiming reticle or like an improved like aiming, like Resident Evil 2 remake. As much as I love this game, like the laser is super annoying, it's, you know, sometimes, because it's so small. So, you know, even like for this game, if you played the PlayStation 3 version, um, the Gold Edition, they have, uh, if you play with the PlayStation Move controller and you aim with that wand, they have an aiming reticle for this game which unfortunately they never included in any other um in any uh version of the game that i'm aware of you know that aiming radical that you use for the playstation move like that's the only way you can get an aiming radical in this game and that made the game so much more enjoyable because you could actually see where you were aiming other than you know the little the little laser I think I just put myself up. Oops. Thank you, Shiva. Let me pull out my nitrogen rounds. So yeah, like I wouldn't mind an aiming radical if they if they did that in the remake. I wish they gave players the option to choose if they want to play with the laser or if they want to use an aiming radical. Um, this game I think it would have been a lot a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable if they had an aiming reticle so you could actually see precisely where you were aiming instead of you know the little laser um, but yeah alright we uh, got all three of the emblems earth emblem and the sea emblem Have you played Resident Evil Revelations? It's pretty different, especially part two. I haven't, but um, I definitely do want to check those games out. I've heard that those are really good um, art games and they're a lot more true to the classic style of Resident Evil. So yeah, I definitely want to check those games out. Absolutely, I definitely want to check those games out. This is the um, puzzle area where you have to like redirect the light with the mirrors, I think. This part isn't too difficult. Oh, 
I think you had asked me if uh, I was looking forward to Dead Space. I am looking forward to the Dead Space remake. I'm a huge Dead Space fan. interesting to see like what uh, developers do when they remake games whenever there's a remake there's always going to be people that are not satisfied because they prefer the original which is fine you know but I think a remake it's always good because you can introduce new fans to the series like I never played the original Resident Evil 1, 2, or 3, so when I played the remakes, that was kind of my way to experience those stories that I never got to, because, you know, the originals, they're, they were created, like, on PS1, and those controls are really outdated by today's standards, so I think remakes, in that sense, they can be good because you get to re-experience your favorite game in a new way whether you know maybe you think it's better or worse it also has the ability to introduce um, the game to uh, new players if you know what I mean I wonder if they'll give Isaac a voice in the remake since he never got since he never spoke in the first game, I really doubt they will, but it's just interesting. Yeah, you know, I was wondering that too. Because he does like grunt when he attacks, but yeah, he never had a voice in the original. He didn't get a voice until um, Dead Space 2. So I think um, they could like give him a few lines here and there. It'll be interesting to see. I wonder if they're going to go with Gunnar Wright, who was the original voice actor for Isaac Clarke in Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3. I wonder if they'll go, if they'll go with him again or if they'll get a new actor because Gunnar Wright is like 40 now, I think. So he's, he's pretty old. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if they give him a, a voice actor. If I were to speculate, I would say, yeah, they probably will give him a voice actor. Because why are you going to go through the trouble of remaking Dead Space if um, you're not going to make some improvements to it, right? So, I think they probably will get a voice actor. I just don't know if it'll be Gunnar Wright or not. So, we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. I think the Dead Space remake is probably not going to come out for two years if not more another two years if not more so who knows because it's still in the pretty early stages of development so we'll see we'll see because I do remember Dead Space 2 I remember that game um, I remember going to Walmart and uh, asking my mom to buy it for me because I, I played the demo and that game was so intense, you know, the demo. And I hadn't played Dead Space 1 at the time. So um, I was pretty young. I think I was like 15, 15 or so when Dead Space 2 came out. So I was pretty young when I first experienced that game. just, you know, it changed so much for the, for the horror genre, you know, it did so much, and it, uh, it really, uh, it really created a new, a new standard for, like, horror games, okay, I think I might have trapped myself here, <laughs> so I might need to readjust one of these mirrors so I can get out. Just this one and then come back to it. I remember asking my mom to buy me Dead 
Dead Space 2 when I was younger. Really fun series. Not a fan of 4, though. I think you mean 3, right? Dead Space 3, because there hasn't been a Dead Space 4. I'm going to assume that you're talking about Dead Space 3, the one with the... Uh, where you have a partner and uh, it's like co-op and action-oriented. Yeah, um, I'm not a fan of Dead Space 3 either. I think that one was a little too action-y. Because um, I think uh, that game was definitely rushed. You can definitely tell it was rushed. They definitely needed more time with that game. Dead Rising, different zombie experience. Oh, Dead Rising. Oh, okay, sorry. I misread that as Dead Space 2. My bad. Oh, I thought you said Dead Space 2. I read that as Dead Space 2. You said Dead Rising. I remember asking my mom to buy me Dead Rising 2 when I was younger. Really fun series. Not a fan of 4, though. Oh, okay. My bad. I misread your comment. Um, yeah, um, I haven't played uh, Dead Rising, really. But I, I, know what I know what you're talking about. It's like uh, you go around like a shopping mall or something like that, right? And you just like kill zombies in there. I haven't played it though. How can they survive underground? It, it looks like a really fun game though. It's like uh, you're like surrounded by zombies and stuff. And you can just like go on a killing spree and get like a bunch of zombies. It looks like a pretty interesting series. To say I have co-op. But um, yeah, about um, Dead Space. Um, I think Dead Space 2 was probably the best in the series. I didn't like 3 that much. Other than, you know, the co-op. But it was, yeah, a little too action-oriented. I think one way that people seem to ruin uh, horror games is not through co-op, but like making the game a little too action-oriented. Alright, so that was the end of chapter 4-2. Alright, let's uh, continue on to the next chapter.
make a video. I'm gonna have the chat on the right side of my uh, screen so I don't have to keep looking down at my phone to read the chat. That'll just make things a little bit easier. I have some animals there. So, um, for this part, I also like to use the nitrogen rounds because it stops so many of them. And all you have to do is like shoot them after or have your partner shoot them. It's just like that. And when you're swarmed by the liquors, all you have to do is shoot them when they're frozen. It's super easy. Whenever I'm playing with a partner, like they often tend to like just RPG everything and like blow everything up. Which is fine, you know, it works, but I like to use my um, grenade launcher and freeze them all. I think it's more fun that way, because you get to play a little bit more tactically. And even if you don't have infinite ammo like I do, you can still uh, get through this part with just the uh, nitrogen rounds. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. The only game I've ever gotten a platinum on is Days Gone. That's another zombie game, right? That's where uh, you uh, have a motorcycle. I haven't played that game yet either. It looks pretty fun. Right now, as I'm recording this, I have 35 platinum trophies. And most of those trophies are from my PS3. So, you know, I was like really dedicated on PS3. At, at a certain point, I thought I would try to get the Platinum for all my PS3 games. But, you know, as I got older, I realized, you know, sometimes in life, you don't always have time to do all the things that you want to do. So, um, that never happened. And I don't think I'll ever try to do that. I think that's, uh, that's a lot that, that's a lot to do for virtual, um, virtual trophies, you know. So, if, uh, if I do end up getting more platinum trophies, it'll just be for fun, not really because I want to, like, try to impress anyone. But one tro one platinum trophy that I'm really proud of is the Dead Space 2 platinum that I have. It's definitely one of the hardest, definitely, like, top five hardest platinum trophies I've ever gotten. My uh, co-op partner's uh, aim is uh, pretty on point. I think there's a frozen one right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I've heard Days Gone is pretty good. Gotta wait for the elevator now. So for this part, I like to use my nitrogen rounds again. Always use nitrogen rounds on liquors. It stops them. And all you have to do is just shoot them when they're frozen. You don't always have to RPG every situation, you know. Unless you want to. Alright, let's go.
Someone activated the uh There's so many that elevator thing. They must be kidnapping people from all over the world to experiment on. Oh Christ. He's searching for a chill. Why? So that's why. Oh, I have to pick it up. Do I have to pick up a grenade to throw it in there? I'm not sure which rounds work best on these things, so I'm gonna try a bunch of rounds. The sniper is so much fun to use. Should be almost up there. 
Where is she? Mr. Redfield, how nice to finally make your acquaintance. Who the hell are you? Stella Guillermo. She works with Tricep. Nice. You've done your homework. An officer in the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. Why? <laughs> As if I need to explain myself to you. Although, weren't you two given orders to retreat? So it was? I'm so cheesy. She's lying. She knows something. It's time we get some answers. Alright, that's the end of uh, chapter 5 1. I think I'm gonna end the uh, video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.